Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in. Hope you haven't forgotten about me. Uh, man, I have been busy. I did finally get one batch of my chickens processed and cut up and put in the freezer and working on the next batch within three weeks. My name is Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. So thanks for stopping in and hoping you're still sticking with me. Didn't quite realize how busy summer could get. Plus just wanting to be outside because we're going to be cooped up pretty soon. And so I am sorry I have been missing in action. But I have a new addition to my family. This is Bingo. Mm, her's a good little girl. She's a, uh, April told me uh, from uh, Sew with April. Uh, let me see. It's a Shipu. She's part... Uh, Chihuahua and Miniature Poodle. So her name is Bingo. My sister and I went to Bingo and they showed me a picture of her and I had to buy her on the spot. So I won her in Bingo because I got the, I was the lucky one to get her. So she's a good little dog. I've had her for one week. This Thursday will be two weeks and she's doing so good at potty training and snuggling and making me just happy. She's just She's just a good girl. Uh, anyway, I wished I could say I had a whole lot of sewing to show you, but I don't. Let me show you what I did get done, because I am working on quilts as uh, for winter pre uh, Christmas present. And uh, I did find a quilting group I might try to join on Thursdays, uh, just to get me some fellowship. Uh, so let me show you what I got. I got a few orders. I have so many irons in the fire, I would like to work on a purse because I got me some fake uh, leather at Walmart and I just want to try my hand at that and see if my sewing machine will sew it. Let me put Bingo down and see if she's okay with that. But I am working on a chicken quilt and uh, what I'm doing is it's a pattern I bought and you print these out and then you do uh, sew them or trace them. I'm really potty training her so I want to make sure she's not wanting to mark her territory. But then you trace them on your uh, heat and bond. Hey, 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 come over here. And uh, then onto the fabric. So she, these are all new smells for her down here. But here's my first block. My niece came over and helped me with this. And I still have to sew it all around on the on the block but I'm just getting all my blocks made here will be my second block bingo come here bingo so I've been working on that slowly uh, I'm working on my Christmas quilt for someone and I got all the strips strips done so I thought I would try to join that quilting group and uh, Maybe try to finish that up there on Thursdays. Thursdays would be my quilt day. So I thought I would do that. Just a minute, I see my head's cut off. Much better. Okay, and then I did get an order. I want to try my hand at a purse, but I don't want to start and have to stop. I want to be able to get her done. So my order came with the hardware. Now, this little bag was $70. Can you believe that? I think, oh my goodness, you get into one hobby, you have to buy all the stuff, and then you get out of that hobby and you stuck with all the stuff. But I got the hardware for the one purse I want to make, like uh, Chris over at uh, Sew Notes. So I did get that, came in stock finally, so I did get that, and I just bought a few extra types of hardware. Hopefully, if I really like it, then I'll have it on hand, so when I want to make it. So that came. And then I bought, uh, for my next quilt, I got two quilts in mind, and I think I'll have enough, but I bought some jelly rolls that were on sale. And these are called the Complete Collection, uh, Robert Kaufman, just says Complete, oh, connect, connect the Dots. Connect the Dots, that's what these are. And I got three of them. And then these were on sale, so I got me some pre-cuts. This is, uh, I believe, Matt from Jordan Fabrics cut these. And he does such a good job. So I got me two whites and two black two uh, jelly rolls. Come here, baby. 
she's kind of panicking. Come here. Oh, my baby. And then my niece was thinking about she might want to make a quilt. So I bought her the pack that she likes of charm packs. She's making a baby quilt for her brand new niece that she's going to be having. So her birthday's coming up. So I thought that'd be a cute little birthday present. But that's pretty much all I've got going on. Um, just doing the homesteading life, trying to get chickens done, chicken in the freezer, chickens fed, chickens keep them alive, and then getting a new puppy so I can have my winners filled with a little cuddly. She is, she is just so good. She's already sitting. She's right now kind of crazy. You went down? She's... I know she's wanting to mark her territory somewhere because I can tell watching her look for a space. So, <laughs> but she's a good dog. But anyway, so I just wanted to stop in and tell you guys I am missing in action, I know, and I'm sorry, and I hope come winter I would be able to upload videos a lot uh, more often. Uh, but thank you for sticking with me. Thank you all for... Um, <laughs> anyway so but thank you all for sticking with me and uh coming back and checking me out uh i will be trying to get more videos uploaded come winter time when you're i'm stuck inside more um i think this is going to be the last month of me and the sisters going for luncheons until next spring you know because now the holidays are coming and everybody will be busy but I will get a picture and show you the uh, pumpkins that we all created and uh, let you see that. Um, but besides that, there's nothing more going on in my life. And I just, again, want to thank you all for sticking with me, stopping by and checking me out. Hey, and if you like my videos, you want to see when I get them uploaded, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down in the corner. And uh, don't forget to click on that bell so you can be notified when I upload my new videos. And uh, I will be back more regularly once I get these chickens all <laughs> once I get these chickens all in the freezer and I've survived they're all surviving. We've lost 14 so far this year, but I've got six already processed and 11 to be processed in uh, three more weeks. So that will be off my plate. I am one of them people that when I have so much on my plate, I just get overwhelmed and it just wears me out just thinking about all of it. So uh, I'm getting stuff off my plate, cleaned off my plate so I can get focused back on my YouTube videos and my sewing. And I haven't even begun sewing for Christmas yet except for the uh, quilt here and that's quite a bit. I'm a slow sewer. I'm not one to sew a lot. And then I'm seeing all these new release of patterns and I'm thinking, I want to make that. I want to make a purse. I need a couple more bras. And oh my goodness, it wears me out just thinking of all I want to do. And I just don't have the strength after I'm done with everything else I do. So, but it will get there. It will get there. So, hey, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. Uh, my grandkids... Two of them, or three of them, I think, did get COVID, but uh, I've already had their immune system going. I've got them on that zinc and D, vitamin D and vitamin C, and um, I started making uh, collodial silver, so they're doing that. Um, I make an iodine solution. I've seen from some lady that, sh sh you know, she does all natural things, so they're spraying that up their nose. Uh, we're, we're prepared. We're prepared. Uh, for the in case uh, so they they are handling their COVID very well my granddaughter just lost her taste got a cough and a little sluggish but she's 25 and she's doing good I think she's over it pretty much her daughter that's four year old four, four years old uh oh and almost five my dog's finding all my quilt scraps and having a good time right now but anyway uh so she's doing good no symptoms at all um uh, the baby no symptoms at all uh i think he did test positive but uh it's the flu it's just the form of the flu a serious flu and we just need to build our immune systems up so if it does affect us if we do catch it so it, we can be prepared somewhat 
Um, I don't know if any of you remember the Hong Kong flu. I was probably in fifth grade. I can remember that flu going through the schools and kids dropping. I literally seen kids dropping until it was my turn and I dropped and got rushed home. But fevers were so high. I remember them putting me in a bath of ice trying to break the fever. Uh, a lot of people died with that flu, lots and lots of people. And I'm just not seeing that with this uh, pandemic that they claim. But uh, the Hong Kong flu, after I seen that, and I know the seriousness of it, I think I would we would be seeing more people just dropping. And that's what happened back in, I think it was about 69 or somewhere around there. Uh, I, literally people were just dropping and that's how sick they would get all of a sudden it just yeah yeah body aches so bad you couldn't walk they would have to carry me to the bathroom stick me in a tub of ice to try to break my fever I mean it was bad I I think I almost died uh, with the Hong Kong flu so that was a real serious one and I'm not downplaying this uh, COVID flu but uh, I'm just saying Build your immune system up. Get that, what God has created us to be healthy. And he has created things to help us stay that way. So search and find out what you can do to um, prevent it from affecting you seriously. You know, uh, there are going to be people that it does. And no matter what we do, uh, we're still going to get it. So, And that's where prayer comes in and uh, quoting scripture of healing and trust God. So... But I do pray. I pray for my family. I pray for all you that you stay healthy and that you stay um, prepared and try to get prepared for what, what may come. So, But I will quit rattling as I always do and I will let you go. And I'm hoping to get another video, hopefully Friday sows. Um, but if not, I, I will come, come winter and I'm stuck in this house. I will be making them more faithfully. Uh, but uh, thank you all again for sticking with me and checking me out and stopping by to watch me. My baby wants up. She must have done something naughty. I feel wet feet. No, I don't feel wet feet. But uh, she must have done something naughty. <laughs> so, but me and Bingo say goodbye. You have a great week. God bless you. And let me say a quick prayer just for our health. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Hallelujah to your name. We love you. We praise you. We exalt you. We know, Lord, you are our provider. You are our healer. You are our everything. And you gave us this miraculous body, Lord, to heal itself and to do what uh, you created our bodies to do. We ask that you, Lord Jesus, give us the wisdom, the direction, and uh, the hope in you to know what we need to do to prepare our bodies for any virus. Lord, you say that in your word that you are our healer. You are our refuge. You are our everything. And we just have to use the power in the name of Jesus to believe and to uh, rebuke everything that tries to come against us and attack us. So in Jesus' mighty name, I come against this COVID virus. I come against the cold. I come against the flu. I come against any type of disease that our viruses that would try to pin itself on us and on my viewers. And I plead the blood of Jesus over us. And I pray, oh Lord Jesus, that you just protect us from every single virus that there is out there. And that you just keep us in the shelter of your arms, Lord Jesus, and make the virus pass by our homes. And we ask it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, everyone. Saints, go out there, have a great day, and I hopefully will see you soon. God bless, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs>